Good morning guys. I want to show you my beautiful Easter lily here. Now this Easter lily, this may seem like a small thing, but the very day before it was just one of those buds like that, like those two on the top. It was completely closed up on Saturday and it may seem like a small blessing, but I said, oh Lord, please let one Please let one of them open on Easter Sunday. The very next day was Easter Sunday. And this one totally opened up. Totally opened up. It went from that bud on Saturday to being opened up just like this on Sunday. So, you know, every small blessing is precious. Whether your blessing is a small thing or a big thing, they are all blessings. So, um... I just wanted to show you my beautiful Easter lily and uh, I hope you all had a good Easter and the Lord told me recently that a lot of things are going to suddenly start happening just boom 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 one right after the other a lot of stuff is going to suddenly start to happen so we need to be ready for anything I to me to me that meant that very suddenly Things like Donald Trump coming back in office, things like the mighty outpouring of the Holy Spirit that we've all been anticipating, or most of us. Uh, I, I think the Holy Spirit's about to be poured out and there's going to be healings and miracles and it's just going to be an awesome and wonderful time and it's going to lead to the Great Revival. That's going to spark the Great Revival. Or maybe the other way around. Uh, but a lot of things, a lot of things, these three things, he didn't specify what he meant by it, okay? He just let me know that a lot of things are suddenly going to start happening. But I think that my guess would be that it's those three things. I do still firmly believe Donald Trump is coming back into office. Um, we don't know when or how exactly, but I think it's going to be really soon. And um, this, this great revival that's about to happen, I am so excited that the Lord's about to pour out His Spirit on us. And He's told prophets that it's going to be like, you know, even greater than it was in, in the book of Acts. The Spirit will be poured out like this world has never seen. That is just so, so thrilling. And um, I had a wonderful blessing uh, with finding a church. I've lived in this spot for, let's see, three and a half years or so. And when I first got here, I went all around. I was rushing all around looking for, you know, to check out a bunch of different churches. And I must have checked out, I don't know, eight or nine, ten, maybe even a dozen churches. I mean, I was just going from church to church to church. And I couldn't find one that I liked or that I felt all that good about the pastor. And I didn't feel good about the fact that they didn't seem to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Um, so I, I was just rushing back and forth to all these churches and I finally settled on one, which was the best of the lot. <laughs> but they still weren't real filled with the Holy Spirit. I mean, I, I was raised a Baptist. I'm not knocking a Baptist church. I was raised Baptist, but, you know, they're, they're what Pastor Patrick calls those old dead denominations. <laughs> um, you know, the Holy Spirit, you just can't feel the Holy Spirit in most of them. So the ones that I've been, been to, and, and they don't talk. I, I was raised in a Baptist church, like I said. And they don't even ever mention, at least the one that we went to the whole time I was growing up, they didn't talk about the Holy Spirit. You know, they didn't talk about any of that. They didn't talk about the baptism of the Holy Spirit or the Holy Spirit. And so, I, I there was one church in this area, and the Lord led me right to it. It was not set on the main streets, you know, where I had seen the others. I noticed the others on the main streets around here. So this one was tucked away, you know, way, way off the main streets. 
yet it is a good sized church. It's not a small church, it's not a humongous church, but it's like a medium sized, good sized church. But I had never heard anybody talk about it and I had never seen it. It was tucked away back in the suburbs. So the Lord led me straight to this church. So I went there yesterday and I tell you, it was such a blessing. I just was so blessed yesterday. Um, it was a Baptist church and it's the most spirit filled Baptist church I've ever been in in my entire life. It just, oh boy, that music was so anointed and, you know, everybody wasn't in there like worshiping like a Pentecostal church, which is my preference. Um, I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit many years ago and after that, I just like ditched the Baptist church. I wanted to be in, you know, where the Holy Spirit is. You know, after you receive the baptism, you want to be where people are worshiping in spirit and in truth. And in the Baptist church, they worship in truth, but they kind of forget the Holy Spirit. But this one was magnificent. It was so awesome. You know, we were holding our hands in the air. Everybody wasn't, you know, into the singing or, or seeming like they were that spirit filled. But many, many of them were. And in fact, I just got goosebumps from, from the way that they worshiped. Um, I got this impression from the Lord that this church out of all the ones around here is going to be the one that this revival will hit. I just, you know, I felt the potential there. I felt the potential for that. It was just so exciting to me because it's just like right around the corner from me. <laughs> like if they have a big revival, I can go every night. <laughs> it's just, it blessed me so much yesterday. So that was a major blessing. And oh, and I almost forgot one part. One part, and I've never heard this said in, in, a, in a Baptist church before, or usually any of the others, almost any of them. They will not mention the rapture or anything like that. Well, at one point, this pastor just held up his finger up in the air, pointing towards heaven, and he said, Jesus is going to burst through those clouds very soon and come to get us. And I went, whoa, I almost fell off the pew. <laughs> it was just awesome. So um, I'm very excited about this church. Really, really excited. It's just like a, been a special blessing after these four years of searching for a, a church that's Holy Spirit filled like that and that acknowledges and believes that Jesus is coming soon, you know, it, just to find such a church has blessed me so much. And then you have my little small blessing, small but wonderful blessing of my beautiful Easter lily coming open, just like I asked the Lord right on Easter Sunday. It opened up all the way. So I just want to encourage you guys to hang in there. Times are so tough. I read so many posts about people being so, so depressed. And I don't know about how it is on you guys' feed, your subscription feed, but like a whole lot of people that I'm normally sub to, they've stopped making videos apparently. I just, my feed is just practically dead. Uh, it really, really is. It's just surprising how many people, I don't know if they've given up on the rapture or waiting for the Lord or what's going on, but... Yeah, let me know below if yours is like that, too. I'd be curious to know. But um, be encouraged. Please don't give up. The devil's throwing everything he's got at us. Don't let him win. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They're spiritual. We need to, if a spirit of, of depression, and it is a spirit. I studied deliverance ministry for a while. It is a spirit. If the spirit of depression tries to come on you, don't just sit there and take it. Jump up and say, I cast you out. You come out. I command you to come out of me right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And I forbid you to come back or send other similar spirits in your place. In Jesus' name. Jump up and holler that at him. <laughs> you can't just let the devil stomp all over you. Okay, we've got to fight the devil. Fight the stuff he's doing. 
He's trying to mess with me too, big time, big time, just like he is you guys. I know he is with you guys too, because he knows his time is just about up. So don't let him win. Be encouraged because, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Be encouraged because we are so close. This outpouring is at hand very soon. The revival is at hand. And when that revival hits, nobody knows how long it's going to last. I don't know if it's going to last one week or three months or four months or six months. Nobody knows how long it's going to last. But I'll tell you, I have heard two pastors say that they thought it would be a quick work. A quick work. So we need to all get right with God, repent of your sins, get right with God, and believe and trust that his coming is so near, because right at his designated time, whenever that is, after this revival hits, we're going to get raptured. So we are so close, so close. Preach the word of God wherever you can. Be ready to preach the word of God because that revival is just about here. So God bless you guys. And I pray for you guys. I love you guys. You hang in there. Okay, Jesus Christ chose you. The Holy Spirit just told me to say this. Jesus Christ told me that you were born for such a time as this. Listen, he chose you. You could have been born 150 years ago. Jesus Christ chose you and me and everybody else that's here right now. He chose us for this time. We're privileged, as hard as it is, we're privileged that he chose us for this time to serve his purposes and do whatever his will is, spread the word of the word of God spread the gospel. He chose us. We could have been born at any time in history, but no. He chose you and I to be born right now to go through this revival and get raptured. And in my opinion, to preach the gospel for all you're worth right before the end here. So, you know, you're, you're special. You're privileged. We're privileged to be alive today as tough as it is. He chose you, and he wouldn't have chose you if he didn't think that you had the strength to make it through this, as, as tough as it is. He chose you because he would grant you the strength to get through this. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So, okay, I better go because this may not upload. But he chose you for such a time as this. So rest in him and draw on him for your strength. I love you guys. Stand strong. God bless you.